I know we got to let you guys go, but I got a text message and uh, I have to share it with you. It says, oh, Steve, boy. you have to tell Aaron how you got hooked on Breaking Bad. I want to hear his reaction. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know if you've heard this before, if you have, but this, <laughs> this is a tremendous story. You, you gotta tell I was Steve. late to the party. And so all Very of a sudden, everybody's late to the talking party. about the big finale, the final episode. You know, it's like, I'm going to be super douche and I'm going to watch the very last episode. Never watched an episode and, before. And be the annoying guy on Twitter saying, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> well, what happens is I fall in love with the episode. My wife and my wife's like, why are we doing this? So we sit and we watch it, and we're just blown away. We have no idea what happened, the stuff that's going on. But the story arc is just so amazing in that final episode that then we went back and binge watched all of it. We're up to the final season now, and just it's my favorite show of all time. Like, wow! I, it, it, but because I was wanting to be a douche and watch the last episode, you know, sometimes it episode. pays off. Pays off to be a douche. Yeah, good, good for you. I love that. <laughs> I told I told him, Aaron. I said, you did the ultimate. F- you. I mean, I mean, so now yeah. I'm like, guys, you. Won't believe what happened on Breaking Bad. They're like, we saw we, it two yeah, we years know. ago. Yeah, we get. Yeah. But it's awesome. Yeah, that gut scene was epic when we saw it about a couple of years ago. Yeah. But, but you know, I said to him, I said, with does that, he read books backwards? Yeah, he does. Is that what he does? Should go backwards yeah. just to see how they start and not Dude, how they end. It's sad, but I will start reading a book and I go to the last page just to kind of I want to oh, know what's going to no. happen. Oh no, no, <laughs> I'm no. that guy. That's great. But it, you know, with that show though, Aaron, that is the one thing because it is a flash forward show. So in a weird way, I mean. You guys have done that. Well, you guys did yeah, that. Without the show could have played out yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure, so. I mean, that would have been an interesting way to start the show. Yeah. You know, the first episode there, you just get to see, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, machine gun out of a truck, out of a car, and back, and then boom. Uh, Spoiler you know, alert, dude! Come so, on. I know. What am I thinking? Sorry about that. Um, well, uh, guys, this this is like I said, this is like a summer movie that you get to see in March, which is a is a rare treat because a lot of times you just don't get to see that kind of quality of an action flick this time of year. Uh, so this is like the best kept secret, oh, wow. but. Oh, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's so, so good, guys. It really, really is. And and Scott, I want to see you do more stuff because you really do have a lot of care. Like I said, man, uh, you know, Act of Valor was in a tremendous movie. Oh, thank and you. And so uh, that and Need for Speed, March 14th, Aaron Paul starring in it. It's a great flick. Check it out, guys. I, I do appreciate you coming in, man. Uh, it's, it's a great flick. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.